All right, still a nation, man. Of course, you should know by now, and if you don't, I'm gonna tell you here in this video. And I just wanted to do a follow-up video for you guys who support the channel and you were, you know, you were able to watch the live stream with myself, Kenyon, Destiny, and Miss Debs, you know, my guest on the live draft show. If you already saw that, then you kind of understand or know where I'm going with this in my thoughts. But I wanted to make a shorter, condensed, very short video, man, for those of you who didn't watch that, and so you don't have to watch the entire stream. And you know, if you want to, it was entertaining. <laughs> but you know, for those of you who just want the skinny and you want to hear my quick thoughts, I'm going to give them to you right now. So, with the 20th pick of the 2022 draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Kenny Pickett, quarterback out of Pittsburgh. Now, I'm going to just tell you right up, right up, straight up, I didn't see it coming, you know, you probably could have seen it coming a mile away, and I'm going to honestly say I probably didn't want to see it because I think I was fixated on what could possibly be. Let me explain. I thought if the Steelers were to draft a quarterback in this year's draft, the first thing I said, if you move up, you better go get the guy who might have the brightest upside, right? And maybe I was biased in looking at the unscripted plays and things of that nature and saying, wow, you know, look at the type of things that a Lamar Jackson can do and you know, the mobile quarterback, yada, 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 right? So I was thinking Malik Willis is the guy who has the biggest upside. In all reality, maybe Kenny Pickett is a better quarterback today than Malik Willis. So what I have to do is I have to trust the organization, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I didn't expect it to be Kenny Pickett if both guys were available. Could it have been Kenny Pickett had Malik Willis got picked before? Sure. But I didn't expect two things to happen. I didn't expect if the Steelers would have traded up, they would have drafted Kenny Pickett. And I didn't expect if the Steelers had their pick of the litter at 20, which they did, that they would go with Kenny Pickett. I didn't expect that. But now that my reaction is out of the way, again, if you saw the live stream, you saw my immediate reaction. Now, at this point, guys, I'm going to just have to trust in the organization and, and, you know, just trust in the organization. <laughs> There's nothing else to really say there. OK, you know, I know some people feel like we should wait until next year to have gotten a quarterback. OK, I get that. But if I, if I look at it from more of a business standpoint, they were able to sit at 20 and get a potential quarterback, you know, because let's not act like Kenny Pickett doesn't have talent. The small hands is an issue, you know, like my man Kenyon outlined, it is an issue, but maybe it won't be. You know, he broke all of these records at, at Pittsburgh, and I know everyone tries to do the comparison of him and Dan Marino, and, you know, maybe the Steelers brass didn't want to miss again, if you will. Whatever your narrative is, you can use any of that to fill and fit your narrative, right? But at the end of the day, if you look at it from a business standpoint, and I'm realizing this right now as I even speak, you were able to sit at 20 and pick a guy that could potentially be your next franchise quarterback rather than next year. You don't know where you're going to end up. I think Mitch Trubisky would have been good enough to have the Steelers at least right around the same position where they're picking again at about 20 or so. And you would have had to move up next year to get Bryce Young or uh, uh, Stroud or one, you know, you probably would have had to move to get one of those dudes. I don't foresee them dropping to 20. People are already saying that that draft class is better. So they're going to go at the top of the heap. So maybe the Steelers looked at it like that. I don't know. And why they like Pickett over Willis, again, I don't know. But like I said on the stream, I got to trust guys like Brandon Hunt, you know, in the scouting division, you know, these type of guys and all of the other scouts and Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin for that matter. I mean, you got to trust Mike Sullivan. I mean, everyone, Matt Canada, everyone who was involved in evaluating these players, they they went to all of the pro days. They pretty much met with all of the top five QBs. I got to trust them, even though that wasn't the pick that I thought they would make. So those are just my thoughts, man. Listen, again, the Steelers draft Kenny Pickett. Number 20 overall. 
and we'll see. And, you know, like my big brother Floyd said, you know, big brother Floyd, he said, hey, man, it only makes sense if he beats out <laughs> Mitch Trubisky. I can understand that. But I also look at it from another side. Is he set to start this year? You see, so it, it's so many different variables, man. And again, I feel like the Steelers felt like he was their guy. They did not have to move up to get him. So I'm at least, at least happy about that. They didn't have to move up to get him. I am cool with that. But I'm not going to be so sad and down in the dumps and all of that. Because at this point, he's on the team. Let's root for his success. Let's hopefully say we'll look back later and say, wow, they got one in this pick. Hopefully that's what we're saying. If he turns out to be a bust, then we'll give it the proper criticism. But at the end of the day, I still trust in the organization. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. It is not an exact science. I know a lot of us think we are the couch GMs and we know everything, but we do not. <laughs> Plain and simple. But there you have it. But anyway, guys, I got homework to do. I'm going to go rewatch some Kenny Pickett and really study every aspect of his game. What I want to ask you guys, can you guys give me some recommendations? For you guys who love the pick, give me some recommendations of which games I should watch. And I'll whichever ones are of the consensus, I will watch those. I'm going to go pick a couple of my own anyway. I'm actually going to watch me a game tonight, right? I'm up. I'm off tomorrow. I'm going to watch a game tonight just to get back in the flow of it. But if you guys who like the pick want me to see him at his best, whatever games that he sold you on, give me those recommendations. And also the ones that don't like the pick, give me a, a game or two that shows why we shouldn't have picked him. <laughs> you know, I'm an equal opportunist when it comes to that. So there you have it. But I'll go ahead and end it with this. Listen, I love my team. I got to trust them. And I'm going to root for whoever's on the team. Quick question. What does this mean for Mason Rudolph? Is Mason Rudolph potentially a trade option? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe for a late round pick. I don't know. I'm just throwing scenarios out there. But anyway, guys, definitely let me know what you think in the comments. I will be looking at that. If you would like to see the entire first round, well, we kind of signed off at about pick number 24 or so. But if you want to see that, entire duration leading up to our pick our conversations feel free to go watch that video i will put a link to that in the description as well as i will pop up a card right now it's going to be over here somewhere check that video out as well outside of that if you haven't already i'm going to definitely remind you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and cut on your notifications all right guys until next time hey Catch you later. Peace.